Hey, what's up everybody? One pick here. Uh, I'm at the uh, vacation house. Uh, as most of you, I think, probably know at this point, I, uh, I went on vacation with my family this week. I'm out of town until Friday, maybe Saturday, depending on when we, uh, when we get out of here. Kind of a cool rec room though, you know? And of course I bring the rig because I got a sponsored stream at the end of the week. Anyway, there's been some uh, major buffs that happened uh, and a few nerfs that I think were necessary uh, that are going on right now in Dark and Darker. The first is an armor change. So one of the things that seems like uh, players are trying to get away with more and more is the idea of having a rather lethal weapon, but not bothering to wear any armor. A lot of naked rogues, a lot of naked wizards, that kind of thing. They keep the run speed up, but the damage that they were taking didn't seem like it was enough when they were up against people that had some relatively amount of decent gearing. So they modified the armor so that people that are naked, not wearing any armor, are gonna take a bit more damage now. The armor value for being naked is less than what it used to be. In addition to the armor changes, we also have some stat modifications. In the case of Bards, one of their songs that reduced people's uh, stats overall, sometimes those stat reductions would actually put people's like armor values, for instance, into some very low, if not even negative numbers. So that has been slightly modified so that the, uh, the, the, the debuff isn't going to be as severe. Also in regard to Bard, there was another nerf with the song that restores spell charges. That song isn't going to restore as much of a spell charge as fast as it used to. It's still going to, but they said it was nerfed slightly. We're not exactly sure what the values are yet because the servers are being taken down in order to be able to patch the game. Also, if you've been paying attention to some of the patch notes, the last couple of hotfixes, they've mentioned Iron Shield. A lot of people thought that that was like a, an ability for a fighter. Iron Shield is actually the anti-cheat engine that is being in-house developed by Iron Mace. So if you see Iron Shield, that's them talking about their anti-cheat development. There was also a change to one of the treasure hordes uh, in the Inferno uh, level. Uh, there was the ability to be able to bypass the boss. You could get to the treasure hoard and start looting it without having to actually kill the boss. That treasure hoard has now been removed. And finally, we have a bunch of buffs. First, uh, clerics who historically have the slowest action speed of any class in the entire game, slowest hands around. Um, when it came to opening doors and chests and whatnot, it took them forever. That has been buffed for clerics, so that's a good change. Secondarily to that, we also have wizards and warlocks. Now in the current meta, in my opinion, the current meta is much more centralized around melee damage. And it seems that a lot of the classes are now a lot more absorbative than they used to be. Wizards and, and warlocks aren't doing all that much damage unless they really get decked out with stats. So now what we have is the wizard has its cast time for all of its spells reduced by 0.25 a quarter of a second, which is a big buff. And also the, uh, the curse of pain and the curse that does uh, the, the strength buff and damage over time curse. I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. I apologize. Um, that has also had its cast times respectively reduced by 0.25 seconds. So another really, really big round of buffs for the casting classes. And honestly, I think they, they kind of needed it. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for this one. Uh, sorry if the audio is a little bit scuffed. Uh, greetings from the vacation house. And I will see you guys uh, very soon back at the office uh, once I'm back in town at the end of the week. Okay, thanks a lot. Peace.